Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you? Good to see you. Welcome back to Chellington Valley uh, for the uh, Wackadoodle No Sense Challenge here. I got Sophie down here. She's running around here just checking on the place a little bit. Uh, I did go up to the store, talk to Zeke. Said, Zeke, I need to borrow uh, at least two trailers. So I leased two trailers. Sophie's got them behind her tractor here. I figured that'd be easy. The way I look at it, my friends, I've got 99 bales. 99 bales. It's all been uh, mowed up. It's all been bailed. We're sitting, oh, there's Sophie calling me now. Hold on a second. Ah, okay, no, no big deal. Uh, she's, just, she's just in the bathroom on the toilet, said she'd be a bit. But yeah, everything is uh, mowed and bailed up. It's 90, 99 bales. Now, I really, uh, <laughs> I really screwed up with this horse grass stuff. It did not work out. Nothing went right. Because the way I look at it, at the current price, I'm going to get about $400 a bale. So, if you get the handy dandy Minnesota calculator, math calculator out here, um, if I get about 400, well, I'll see, it'd be a little bit more than that. I think it'd be about 420 a bale. And I think I have 99 bales. Yeah, I only got like $41,500 worth of stuff here. That was a lot of land for a little bit of return. So, I'm a little, I'm a little irritated at it. But, I'm going to get these bales picked up. We're going to get these moved up to the farm. We'll have to store them somewhere. And then, uh, what the plan is, then I can sell. Ah, that tractor is just noisy. Look at that wackadoodle. He's he's got more money. I think he's doing something funny. Like my good friend um, uh, Jeremy Daniels said that he shouldn't complain about me leaving the house with a helmet on. Have you ever seen him drive a forklift? I'll, I'll show you that video. That was hilarious. Get a forklift stuck in the farmyard. Anyways, so I could sell all these pieces. So it would be the the farm, 105, 104, 103. If I do that, I think I end up with like $359,000 is what I end up with. So then I have enough money in the bank. I can buy 37, combine that soybean field to get that turned around real quick. And then I'm also thinking about buying field 35 right here, just south of my farm. It's a grass field right now. Because I do have the, uh, the baler and the uh, wrapper still leased. And both of those pieces of equipment are up at field 35. I have not bought it yet. But they are up there, so I'm thinking if I buy that field, I can mow it, do the silage bales real quick, and make them into the silage bales while I have the stuff leased, and then uh, kind of go from that. Sophie's not here, so I'll just have to run around here and pick up these bales here. Uh, in the bathroom. We got work to do, Sophie, and you're in the toilet. That's just terrible. Absolutely just terrible. Um, so pick these bales up. That's my plan. That is my plan. And then, we'll just drive to the head. We'll, 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 pull, a, we'll pull a jockey move there. Then I can compare, because I actually think the silage bale <laughs> is worth more. So that, that trailer is full there. Okay, so leave that there. Um, I could at least another one and put it behind mine. Why did I do that? That was kind of dumb thinking. Um, I actually think the silage bales are worth more than the horse grass bales. And so I went on and I did a lot of, I did a lot of experimenting. I did a lot of testing. And even in single player, under the same conditions, same mod, same day season, same day of the year, I tried all kinds of stuff. And I actually made more money. See, I got to make sure I got this right here. I actually made more money on a um, a dry bale of horse grass than I did on a fermented bale of horse grass. So that is just. I need to get the other one on here too. That is just absolutely crazy. I, I can't believe it. I, I I don't know what the deal is, but. It is what it is. I can't change anything about it now. We're just gonna have to kind of go with it and play, and, you know, and, and what happens, happens. I, I, yeah, to the hedge, over the hedge and through the woods. Yeah, we'll just go over the hedge. So pick these bales up. Yeah, it, it actually went pretty good. The the, uh, the bale wrapper, that's a, that's a fine and outstanding bale wrapper. That fast bale there, you don't even have to stop. You just, uh, you just keep bailing and uh, kind of go from there. And uh, the mowers, well, you know, they leave. Oh, crap, I hit the bale. I hit the bale. They leave a little patch, you know, sometimes when you turn. I went back and I thought I got all it, but I missed, I missed some stuff here. Um, so, yeah, so it, it, this horse grass stuff is really weird. And, and look at all the, if I zoom out of here, look at, look at all the acres I had. I had both pastures and three fields of horse grass, and I get uh, $40,000 in um, off of it. I think I had, you know, I don't know what I had. A lot of time in it because I plowed, well, money and lining and seed. So I, I didn't make, this, this This first year, that was a that was a failure of epic proportions, my friends. It, it, it did not go well. But all we can do 
is just uh, is just go forward. And I think with this 37 plan, um, we'll be actually sitting there pretty good because um, I can combine the soybeans, sell them, and they do have some fertilizing state on it already. Make some money off that. Turn around. The only thing I'm kind of curious, though, is how late in the year do I dare plant this macanthus? Because, you know, if you look at the window, remember the macanthus stuff? Um, uh, macanthus right here. Uh, see, it's only got a one-day harvest window, but it's got the whole... So if I plant it on the third day of fall, is it still going to be ready to be combined or harvested by the second day? I, that, see, that's what I'm wondering. I, you know, the longer I wait to uh, harvest it, I'm actually wondering if it's if it's gonna if it's gonna pay off. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just have a crop that doesn't grow, and uh, I don't know. This is a little like dodge the marshmallows. Dodge the marshmallows. I, golf cart jockey is right. It does have one heck of a uh, a pickup radius or a pickup distance, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's what's going on. So first things first, we get these bales moved up. Then I can sell these parcels of land. I can buy 37. I can buy 35, I think. It, yeah, 35, I think it was. And um, and right away, Sophie and I are going to get those silage bales made down on 35. And we'll get them hauled up. We'll keep them separate from our horse grass bales so we know what the difference in price. Now, look at that, look at that little spot in the middle of my cornfield over there. It looks like it's almost withered, doesn't it? Let's just jump the lake. Jump! Oh, I'm getting my boots wet. Oh, crap, I'm under the water. Um, does it look like it's withered? How can corn be withered? It's not even ready to grow yet. Or not even ready to combine. It's still growing. Where was that one spot? Yeah, right here. Look at this. Withered. Why, why, why is this little section here withered? Too much water? No, that'd be down by the river, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know. Funky, funky. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a good jump. All right, we'll get these bells picked up. Let's get them moved up. And then uh, we'll go on with uh, the next step in phase three of Operation Leaky Bucket. I'm kicking ass. Well, that's not as good as I thought. I could have swore. I counted them twice. 99 bells. But yet, I came down here at the one trailer and exactly four tra trailer loads of bales. That's only 88 bales. So to make matters worse, that's only an income of 36,900 or so. I, oh, I did, I did, I forgot to mention this. I did haul the wood strips out, sold them, and I uh, sold the building. Some local farmer came and, and picked it up. So that is gone. So technically right now, I have, um, I've got four straw bales here. I can get them anytime. I don't need them. I have nothing else here. Um, oh, I do have the, I do have that silo there. I could, um, well, I could sell that too as well. But yeah, I don't have any equipment. Everything is done. Um, I can't do anything with the land. So, and I'm pretty sure that uh, yeah, because my riverbank cornfield is not going to make. Um, that's that's not affected. So, at 98, I still have corn over here. So there's the yard. Um, oh, I got to sell the. I got to sell the. Uh, the silo first, don't I? Yeah, I gotta sell the silo. I'll, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a beating on it because I'm gonna I'm gonna put one back up at our new farm. Uh, that's le that's leased items, owned items. Uh, um, Forty eight hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some big money on that, so we'll sell that. There you go. And then we'll um, phase three will commence. We will sell the farm. One hundred three we harvested with uh, horse grass. We'll sell that. One hundred four we'll sell that. 105, we'll sell that. Look at that. Holy crap. Maybe we should just, maybe we should just quit now. Let's, let's just quit now. We've got uh, $452,000 make. Let's just quit, sell all this stuff, and I'll take a year or two off because he can't beat me now. Um, so, yeah. So, so well, well let's, let's go in here and spend the damn money then. I, I should, yeah. Okay, field 37. We are going to buy that for $305,000. Correct Mundo. And then we're gonna buy field 35 for 81,000. So that leaves us with 66,000. Man, that's still like quite a lot of money. I wonder 30. There's only 48,000. Because horse, horse, uh, the horse um, radish bales uh, on three-day season only takes four, four, 24 hours. So tomorrow at this time we'll be able to sell all those and make some money. And then all the silage. Should I buy 32? 
That would still leave me with 58, almost $20,000. I could do that. Um, because the other thing is there's no other f small fields that are that have crops in them that, that I would buy. 37, which we just did buy. 116. Oh, there's 116. That's ready to go. What's in 116, I wonder? Um, is that oats? That's got to be oats, huh? 116. How much? Oh, I would really piss off that jockey guy buying that field across from him. 83,000. Oh, I'm short. Damn it. Oh, that would have been funny. Well, um, okay, we'll give it a shot. Uh, there we go. Um, oh, I could I could sell this. I could harvest the soybean. Sell this. So, where am I going? I get stuck in my own old farmyard. Uh, I could sell, <laughs> harvest the soybean. Sell the soybeans. Maybe I have enough money to buy that. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Because he bought a field. Uh, he bought uh, forty. Oh, he didn't buy a field. I think he was looking at 116. I think he was looking at 116. Did I buy 35? Yeah, I did. I thought I, I saw I saw him walking around there. I thought he bought it. I think he did buy it and then sold it. Because I think it was red at one point in time. I can't remember. Uh, maybe there's something wrong on the land. Maybe I should have soil testing done or something. But let's get this up to the farm. And uh, we'll start mowing and bailing and fire. Oh, crap. I don't have a combine. <laughs> I, just, I, I gotta go lease a combine to uh, harvest the soybeans. Oh man, I forgot about that. I'll have to call Zeke down at the dealership and get something lined up. Baby shark, shark, shark. No, just kidding. That song is stuck in my head all day long. Yeah, there's the baler. Uh, Sophie's got the one tracker down there. That's filled that little grass that we just bought. We're gonna do that up with bales real quick and then we'll um, plow it up and we'll get it ready for, I'll uh, put some acanthus in there. My goal is if I can get 37 harvested and turned around for macanthus and 35 turned around for macanthus. I'll be in, I'll be in pretty good shape. The onions, I don't think I'm going to um, put macanthus in there. I don't know if I would have enough time because they're not ready today. So um, yeah, it's one of those things. I don't know how long I dare go on with planting macanthus. It says I can plant till the end of. Well, it does say I can plant till the end of fall. Maybe it's a fast-growing fall crop. I don't know. But um, we'll get these stacked to the nether ones. The nether ones? The nether regions? No. Uh, the other ones. Oh, I didn't. Uh, eh, what the heck? I don't need to be. They're not perfect. They're just sitting there. So that is done. Um, I could have put them in the barn, but they're wrapped, so I really don't I really don't need to. You know what I mean? Because um, they're all wrapped up. So let's put this back here. I still gotta call Zeke down to the store and say, hey Zeke, uh, I need a combine to borrow. Uh, I suppose I could get that wackadoodle. Maybe he'll lease me his combine. He's got a combine. I could call him up and say, hey, you wanna rent your combine? I'll pay you instead. Give it, uh, the, the, I mean, giving him some free money. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. We'll just leave that there. I don't know where a good spot for that trailer is, but we'll just leave it right there. Oh, you know, okay. let's, um, let's go down. Let's get this grass ga grass gauge, gas gauge, grass field mowed up and bailed. We'll get the bales hauled up, put them somewhere separately so they're not, um, I don't get them intermingled. I want to see which one. I, think, I, I actually think that regular silage bills are worth more money. And that would have just really pissed me off because that, that's a lot, that was a lot of work that I did putting that horse grass in there. And um, yeah, horse grass, horse rider, same thing. But uh, turn the tunes on here and uh, we'll, we'll just pop this out real quick.
I better use the microphone this time. Uh, alrighty. Down at the dealership, I released a 2144 from Zeke, the same one we ran from last time. This combine. Uh, Zeke, all Zeke a is asking for it is 28000 I contemplated buying it. I really did contemplate buying it. But the cheapest header I could find was 52000 So I just went with leasing again. It's a viable option. And I think the, uh, the uh, horse jockey, the uh, golf club guy, I think he even made a comment, if I'm not mistaken, that there's no really harvesting contracts. So, you know, it would, it would make sense if you bought a combine and was doing a bunch of harvesting contracts, but there are very few fields that right now that are uh, harvestable. So I'm thinking that, uh, that it wouldn't make any sense for me to buy a combine at this time, being that I have onions, a combine's not going to do any good on onions. So yeah. I'm just going to kind of stick with... Um, Leasing it for now, I feel good about it. I don't, I, I don't feel bad not having a combine. And when it comes down to it, next year might be a different story. Next next year could be a different story. And I think that wackadoodle, I just looked at his GPS. Yeah, he's down in that dodgy logging area. I think he's trying to make money because I really think that he wants to buy. Um, I really think he wants to buy that field 116. And I would almost feel guilty if I jumped in there and bought it real quick. <laughs> because if he's working hard to do it, then I buy it. Uh, well, you know what? First come, first serve. You know, you mess with the bull, you get the horn, my friend. Um, it is what it is. I live in a rundown place here. Um, anyways, by the castle here. We should come up to this road, and then we'll just take a quick right. I got the uh, tractor and the trailer sitting down there. Got all the bales moved. We had uh, 20, 24 bales, 24 silage bales. Not too shabby at all. And I have not returned the mower and the uh, baler yet. Because depending on how much I can make off this soybean field there's a possibility that i might buy another field and it could be grass and this little grass well then i'm going to uh, bail it up first the only reason i didn't bail up all that onion stuff up north was because i was pressed for time i didn't think i had enough time i didn't have enough money in the bank to um lease the equipment and get things built up and then turn around and get them planted again so that's why i didn't do it there but if we have time there's absolutely i'm going to um bail them up and it makes it easy now that i already have the stuff leased so, um, yeah, it makes it just a little bit easier. But we'll pull into here, and uh, I wonder if my header will fit through the hedge. If I did, I could just drop it off. Oh, yeah. I could do a little dodgy thing here. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I've seen the golf cart do it. You know, he, he's not taking the hedges too seriously. So I said, I'm not going to take the hedges too seriously either because... I gotta tell you, I played on maps where the headers and nothing will go through the hedges, and I'm I'm telling you, it, it's tough. It's tough. I kind of like the concept that um, there's no collisions on the hedges because it makes it playing it more, you know, easier, more enjoyable. I don't know what what the correct word I'm saying here is, but um, that will get this cow mined up here real quick. Well, not real quick. It'll take me quite a while. Um, too bad I couldn't do that. This, this thing has got a working speed. <laughs> speed. This thing just uh, cruises right along with that. 12, I'm, 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 I'm combining at 12 miles an hour. Soybeans. That's unbelievable. Uh, so here's what it says. I'm going to get uh, 87. What does it say? Well, you can't probably see it down there. It's so small. I can't even see it. Uh, it did say, oh, I got to be going here. Uh, 87.3 bushels an acre. 87.3 bushels an acre. This field is how big? Um, so 1258. Get the handy dandy uh, Minnesota math calculator out there. 80, what did I say? 87.3? I'm going to go with it. I, I'm not going to go back and look. My memory is fading me. Uh, 87.3 times 12.58. Uh, 1100 bushels. 1100 bushels. What is the price of soybeans right now? I don't think I'm going to store them. I think I'm going to get rid of them. Soybeans right now are 44.51. Oh, they're they're low. I wonder why soybeans are so low. Uh, times 44. That's almost damn. That's damn, damn near fifty thousand dollars. Holy crap! That's damn near fifty thousand dollars. I'm in love with it now. I don't. Well, let's go back to the price page real quick. Soybeans. Yeah, they're they're they are kind of low. 40. 44.51. Um, oh, triticale. Let's look up what triticale is here real quick. Uh, we have we have that stuff in the storage. 23. Eh. Okay. 
we'll go with it here, but um, get some cow mining done. I mean, I hate to keep going back to the mini. I apologize for doing that to you. Nobody wants to look at the mini, but I wanted to see real quick uh, soil composition. It does not need to be plowed, though. It doesn't need to be plowed, but it needs to be lined. Huh. I wonder if the uh, golf cart guy, if he did a contract on that or not. I don't know. There he is over there yonder. Yeah, he's probably he's probably shaking in his boots now. He's worried. He's worried. Yep. He is worried. Yeah, this thing. I can't believe how this thing just cruises right along. Uh, little case uh, 2144. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Beautiful day to be sitting in a combine. Early autumn, Chillington Valley. You can't you can't complain about that one bit. No, you can't complain about that. I don't know if we're gonna get all that yield that this thing is telling me we're gonna get. But um, yeah, I have no idea. That's we only well, 56, 60, 56 bushels right now. I maybe we will. Maybe we will. So that'd be a good payday if I could buy this field. Uh, get some uh, soybeans off of it and then um, turn around and get macanthus planted in here yet today I don't have to plow it so I don't got to worry about that oh do I have to oh I, I bet my cedar though is not a direct drill cedar so I would have to plow it or cultivate I should buy them I should buy a cultivator I should buy a cultivator for my uh, I should maybe buy that one that I had before uh, it was it was kind of big uh, but now I got big fields yeah, maybe I should just buy that cultivator. This thing doesn't need to be plowed. Um, I'll have to plow it next time, probably. Uh, in the spring, I'd have to plow it, which would make more sense. Maybe I, maybe I should do that. I wonder how much that thing was. Uh, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful with the money because I don't want to get I don't want to get too carried away. What, what do we have in the bank? We've got fifty. I can't see that. Fifty nine. They did a terrible job on this, huh? Didn't they? Fifty nine. There I am moving the camera around like it's crazy. Fifty nine thousand. If I get fifty thousand for this, I'll have a hundred and nine thousand in the bank. We'll have income from the bales tomorrow. Onion harvest, hopefully, maybe start tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're I think we're sitting pretty damn good, my friends. Just the question of what to buy. Um, the one option would be to go buy that oat field down there. That would be an option. Let's get the straw bales off of there. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll check back with you here in a little bit. We'll see how far we get, uh, what it looks like, and if we have a full trailer by then, or um, go from there. Six in thy morning. This has been a most productive uh, morning so far for us. I got uh, 596 bushels. We got 600. There's 250 on the thing. Six, seven, eight, eight fifty. So we didn't quite do our yield thing, but um, nonetheless. And here's what I have contemplated. I know this time of the year is the worst time of the year to be selling crops, and I would be uh, in the long run. I'd probably be better off selling it or storing it and then selling it. But here's the problem that I got. I found a refurbished silo for fifteen thousand, but I need I need the income to acquire some more property. So I can't hold on to these until next spring when they're probably worth the most. Uh, so I just need to sell them now and be done with it. I think because I got fifty nine thousand in the bank. I, I you know that field next to the farm is one hundred and eighty eight thousand. I'm not going to get there until onions are harvested. Um, probably not, depending on how much I get for onions, that is, too. I gotta be careful with that, I, you know. Um, so I'm just gonna sell the soybeans now. I, th I probably should put in a silo, but my silo, you know, is not gonna hold any of the other crops. It's not gonna hold the onions, so the only thing I'd be holding for is this, and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm gonna grow, either. You know, it won't hold macanthus, so... That really doesn't make any much sense, does it? No. So I'm just going to sell it, and then uh, we'll see. Now, Wackadoodle has enough money to buy that oat field, but he must not be buying it for a certain reason. Maybe he, there's something wrong with it. Maybe 
and it, and it is kind of out of my way. I mean, it's down there where I used to live, and I don't want to go back down there. I'm kind of staying in one little area. I think I want to go this way. Chellington Stores is what I want. Um, Got to be coming up here. Where are you, Chellington Stores? Right here? There's an organic farm, and then there's Chellington Stores. I have a feeling this is Chellington Stores. At least I hope I'm right. Let me look at the map. Am I right? One of them is the organic. Okay, wait. That's Chellington Stores. That's organic. What's this one? Gas station? Is that where I'm at? I must be. That, that's got to be the right spot. Okay. Well, we'll sell the soybeans here. We'll see how much we get. Like I said, we still have 242 bushels, I think, in the uh, cow mine that we got to um, that we got to uh, pick up and sell as well. And then we should be sitting pretty good with that department. Um, there is, there is. Okay, we'll sell this and see how much we get. There is a bailing contract. What do we have in there? Fifty. Well, it'll tell us what we get to. That hut is so dumb. Yeah, the money's going up pretty good. Oh, crap, did you hear that? Tire screeching. Uh, well, we did make 26000 off that sale. That's not bad. That's not bad. But there is, look at this, there is, here, here we are here, you know, Field 37's right there, the shop. And I could have swore I did a contract on 122 already. But there is a bailing contract available for 122 at 15767 Now, here's the thing. I still have the equipment leased. And that's fast. Because, you know, one pass, I wouldn't have to go and get all this other crap. I just, for $15,767, plus I'm going to get some bales out of there. That's a big field. I think I had like 22 bales last time. And I already have the stuff leased. I'm, I'm going to accept that contract. Yeah, it's right across from, the, well, I don't, it doesn't matter if it's right across from the store. I have, yeah, I'm going to accept that. So there we go. 122, we'll get that bailed up. So what I think I'm going to do is, we'll call her there for today. I got to get the other soybeans, I got to sell that. Um, we'll call her there for today. We come back, I'll probably have the uh, bailing contract just about wrapped up. Maybe show the end of it. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if that'd be a time lapse thing in the beginning again. I've been doing a lot of that, and I bet people are getting sick and tired of it. Um, and then we've got to get our soybean field taken care of. And then, uh, yeah, soybeans. And then, oh, crap, yeah, that field 35, that little grass field that we just bought and built up. we got to get that turned over to a field to get in the campus in there as well. So we have a lot of work to do. A building contract and two fields to get planted. Uh, did I go the wrong way? No, i got to go up here. i got to go up here to the next one. Um, but anyways... I think, was, I think we're sitting pretty damn good, my friends. I feel good about it. Phase three of the Leaky Bucket, or Operation Leaky Bucket, has been a success. Phase four will be even better. We got the guy, we got the guy in the ropes. We, I, he's up there, he hasn't moved. He's just up there crying, probably. I can't do anything. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta tell you, though, I talked to him earlier. Man, he had some funny stories. I can't wait to see his next episode because, <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, yeah. I think, I think there was a rage quit involved and everything else, but, uh, yeah, I'll let him tell the story. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, you guys have a fine and outstanding weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, keep them between the ditches, boys and girls. And we'll see you here in Jolly Jolly next time. So long.